Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. This is me, Taylor. If you guys haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button to continue watching my videos. I wanted to start a new series basically talking about the different nursing prerequisites. So for today's video, we're going to be focusing on biology. If you're in this class or you're going to be taking this class, I just wanted to share with you the most important concepts that I've seen time and time again in all of my future classes like anatomy, physiology, like just basically the main ideas if you are taking bio or if you're going to take bio to really remember and study and focus on. So yeah, let's get into the video. So the first concept and ideas that I would really focus and remember from bio is the concepts and processes of mitosis and meiosis. So basically know the differences b between mitosis and meiosis. Know that like mitosis is just for generalized cells and meiosis is only for sex cells. Um, and just know the different phases like anaphase, prophase, metaphase, telophase, like all of that stuff because that is gonna come up again in anatomy. It's gonna come up again in physiology and it will come up on your TEAS exam because I got some questions about that. So the next thing that I would take and really remember and focus in from biology is the different types of cell structures and their functions. So basically like mitochondria, um, Golgi apparatus, like all of those um, organelles that are inside of the cell, really remember what each one does, how does it work, that kind of thing because that was another thing that came up on my TEAS exam and also came up in anatomy when you're learning about the different types of like cells and all of that stuff basically. The third thing that you should really take and um, hone in on from biology is gene expression and the terms that really come with that. So basically like know what a chromosome is know what chromatin is, chromatid, um, the different types of genes. Um, so when I took pathophysiology, which is basically the diseases within the body, when we got to the section on um, like hereditary disorders, this is when this was really helpful, you know, knowing the different types of genes and what happens on the X and the Y and all of that stuff. So when taking biology, make sure to remember what um, the different terms are, gene expression, and what exactly all of those things do. The fourth thing that you should remember and really hone in, I keep on saying hone in on, like, meh. The fourth thing that you should really remember from bio is the scientific method. I know it sounds super basic, but you know, you will literally go through the scientific method in every single class. And when things like that are repeated, it kind of shows you how important it is. And also this was another thing that I got tested on on the TEAS exam. So make sure you know what a hypothesis is and conclusions and everything else in between so don't forget about that lastly the most important thing i think you should really remember and i swear you will get asked this in every single question and it's just gonna come up time and time and time and time and time and time again <laughs> is the difference between a eukaryotic cell and a prokaryotic cell so a eukaryotic cell is gonna be your animal cell your um basically all the cells within the human body and then a prokaryotic cell is going to, going to be like a bacteria it's not really living it doesn't have a nucleus like that kind of thing it's what infects us for the most part so um you will be asked the differences not only in bio but in anatomy in physio in micro so remember or else you gon' you gon' fail your classes and you don't wanna do that, do ya? Yeah. So anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment about your favorite thing from biology or what you love about biology. And I will see you guys in the next video. So, peace.